Welcome to Hildestone College's quick lesson series where our teachers give you some English language tips. Welcome back to Quick Lessons. Today we're going to have a look at the situations where we don't use the. If you haven't already watched the video about when we do use the, you might like to watch that first. We don't use the with single countries. We also don't use the when we're making general statements. But you need to be a bit careful here and I'll explain why when we look at the examples. And we also don't use the in situations where we use words like my, your, his, her, their and so on. OK, so let's have a look at the examples then, because that always makes it easier. The examples of single countries are places like Germany, Britain, America, Saudi Arabia. You can say things like, have you ever been to Germany? America is one of the most powerful countries in the world. Saudi Arabia is in the Middle East. So you can see there with each of the single countries, we don't use the, it's not the Germany or the America or the Saudi Arabia, okay? When we're making general statements, we also don't use the. So you can say cats often catch small birds and mice. Elephants have big ears. I imagine they hear very well. It's very helpful to speak to people about your problems. Now, did you notice that all the nouns here are also plural? That's actually quite important. We use plurals when we're making general statements. When we're using the possessive pronouns, my, your, and so on, then we don't need the either. So I could say, my cat often catches small birds and mice. Does your cat as well? Your teacher wants to help you learn. So you must work hard and take their advice. Their class is very small. So they're learning very quickly. Now in some languages, this is different and you need the equivalent of the, even when you use these words, but not in English. Let's have a look at some practice sentences then and you can kind of test yourself. This is why you need to have already watched the video, video about when we do use the. Okay, I'm going to start giving you the answers now. So if you need a bit more time, just pause the video, okay? So here comes the answer to number one. The Earth orbits the Sun every 365 days, approximately. So the Earth and the Sun, they're unique objects in our galaxy at least, so you need to use the with them. I've never been to America, but I'd like to. The USA is a very interesting country. So there you can see I've used both names for the one place. In the first example, America, we're using the single country name, so no, the. I've never been to America. In the next example, because we're using the abbreviation that means United States of America, that changes it. As soon as we refer to a group of islands or states, as here, then we do use the. And that's why you say the USA is a very interesting country. In number three, the correct answer is people have strong feelings about their nationality. The people from Wales, for example, don't like being called English. So people in general 
have strong feelings about their nationality. No, the. The people from Wales is a specific group of people. And it's these specific people, this group of people, who don't like being called English. I'm from Wales. I really don't like it when people call me English because I'm not. There's nothing wrong with being English. It's just not my nationality. So I certainly feel that it's true that the people from Wales, for example, don't like being called English. Now, you can see from example number three that using the or not is not quite as simple as I've made it seem with general statements. Okay, so there's another video coming soon called the or no the, which will give you much more information about specifically that problem. Okay, so I hope to see you again soon for that. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click on the like button and if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. That's it for this lesson. Until next time, goodbye.